Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a numerical on overlap and save method. The task is using overlap and save method, compute the output of an FIR filter with the impulse response h of n is given and the input response uh, x and the input x of n is given. Use only 8 point circular convolution in your approach. That is the task. So let me consider uh, uh, solving this. So I'll write the, just the solution. First, I will write uh, the length of the input sequence which is represented as ls which is equal to just count the number of samples here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so ls turns out to be 12 correct so now uh, the length of the impulse response i would represent it using the letter m just count the samples there are uh, three samples m equal to 3 now uh, it has been said that uh, use only eight point circular convolution so indirectly it is said that uh, the number of block, the block size is going to be 8, n equal to 8. So now if I have the formula, therefore, n equal to L plus M minus N. So using this, I can find L. So this is 8 equal to uh, L, I don't know, M is uh, 3 minus 1. This is 8 equal to L plus 2. Therefore, L equal to 8 minus 2 uh, turns out to be 6. In the sense, what is L equal to 6? I need to consider 6 samples from the input. But the block size must be 8. So what must be the remaining 2 samples? I have to consider from the previous block. Is that okay? So now, uh, let us divide the input sequence. Let us divide the input sequence into blocks. So I'm going to get, first let me consider uh, x1 of n equal to. So this, the size must be 8 and I have to consider 6 samples from x of n and uh, remaining 2 samples must be from the previous block. Here I don't have any previous uh, block. For the first block I'll consider them as a 0. Correct? So now I'll consider uh, the first 6 elements that is the 2 minus 2, 8 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 correct so now this is the first uh, block x1 of n similarly let me consider writing x2 of n so what must be x2 of n i'll consider two samples from the previous block that is uh, minus 2 and minus 3 and six samples from the input x of n we stopped at minus 3 i'll, st I'll start from minus 2 1 and so on is it correct? So what I'm going to get here, I will get minus 2, 1, minus 1, 9, 1, 3. Is it correct? So it is minus 2, minus 3, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 9, 1, 3. Next, I have to consider uh, x3 of n as well. What must be x3 of n? Two samples from the previous block that is 1 comma 3 and six samples from the input x of n but here x of n stops here I don't have anything so I will put six zeros is that okay so I will put four five six I have put six zeros and two samples it makes a length of eight is that okay so now I got x1 of n x2 of n and x3 of n similarly what must be h of n I am performing circular convolution, h of n must also be of length 8, but it is being given as uh, length of 3, that is uh, 1, 2, 3. It, is, it has only 3 samples and I have to put 5 zeros over here, so that to make it of length 8. So now if everything is ready, I can find the circular convolution. The first thing is uh, y1 of n is equal to x1 of n circularly convolved with h of n. So how do I find the circular convolution? I can make use of the simple matrix method and I can uh, find the answer. I will write uh, x1 of n uh, vertically in the matrix so that I am going to get uh, that thing. Let's see what I have to do later. Uh, I will consider x1 of n which is equal to uh, 0, 0, 2, minus 2. So let me consider that. Let me write that vertically. 0, 0. I have uh, 2 minus 2, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, 8, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3. So let me write that. 8 minus 2, 
minus 2 minus 3. Is that correct? Yes, 8 minus 2 minus 2, uh, 3. Uh, 8 samples are there, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, while writing the next column, I'll take this and I'll write it at the beginning. Minus 3 and I'll shift everything down by one position. This is 0, this is 0, this is 2, this is a minus 2, this is a 8, this is a minus 2, this is minus 2. I'll take minus 2 and I'll write it at the top. And I shift everything down. This is minus 3, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, 8, minus 2. Correct? I'll take minus 2 and I'll write it at the top and I'll shift these things down. Minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, 8. Again, I'll take 8 and write it at the beginning. I'll shift these things down by one position. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 2 minus 2. Again, I'll take uh, minus 2 and I'll write it at the beginning and I'll shift these things down. I have 8 minus 2 minus 2, then minus 3, 0, 0, 2. Correct? I'll take 2 and I'll write it at the beginning and I'll shift these things down. That is minus 2, 8, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0. Is that correct? Now I'll take 0 and I'll write it at the top. And I'll shift these things down. 2 minus 2, 8 minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, 0. If I take this 0 and it at the beginning, I'm going to get the first column. So till this point, uh, I will stop the process. Is that okay? So 8 uh, samples are there and there must be 8 columns. In that way, I can remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 columns are there. Yes, the process is right. Or else, if I take 0 at the beginning, I am going to get the first column back. At that point, I will stop the process. So now, I will multiply this with uh, H of n, which is uh, given and which is known. I have extended H of n something like this. This is 1, 2, 3, and I have got uh, 5 zeros. Correct? So this turns out to be H of n. So now uh, the multiplication, I am going to get the final output uh, y1 of uh, n. So that I can consider writing over here. So what must be that uh, y1 of uh, n? So let me consider that. So multiply these two matrices. 0 into 1, I am going to get 0. 0 into 2, I am going to get 0. Minus 2 into 3 turns out to be uh, minus uh, 6. Is that correct? Oh no, I'll consider a row, first row and this column. Uh, 0 into 1, 0. Then I have a minus 3, minus 3 into 2, minus 6. And uh, then I have a minus 2 into minus 3, minus 6. And rest of the elements are going to be 0. Minus 6, minus 6 turns out to be minus 12. Is that correct? In the second row, so now I'll consider the second row and the first column. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 2, 0. Minus 3 into 3, I'm going to get minus 9. And rest of the elements are 0 because of these uh, zeros. Consider the third row. 2 into 1, 2. 0 into 2, 0. 0 into 3, 0. And rest of the elements are all going to be uh, 0. So what did I get now? Uh, the first thing I'm going to get, uh, 2 over here. Is that correct? Uh, it is because of uh, 2 into 1. Uh, yes. So now moving to the fourth position, uh, that is uh, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, 2 into 2, 4, and then uh, I have got uh, a 0. So I am getting minus 2 plus 4 turns out to be 2. Minus 2 plus 4. 4 minus 2 it is, it turns out to be 2. Is that correct? So that's what I get in the fourth row. Next, similarly moving further, I'll consider uh, uh, this row and uh, this column. 8 into 1, I'm going to get 8. Minus 2, uh, 2 minus 4. 2 into 3, 6. So 8 minus 4, 6. It turns out to be uh, 10. Correct? So just be careful while doing the mathematics. Then I'll consider this row. Minus 2 into 1, minus 2. 8 into 2, 16. Minus 2 into 3, uh, I'm going to get uh, minus 6. Minus 2, 16, minus 6, I'm going to get 8. Right? This row, minus 2 into 1, minus 2. Minus 2 into 2, minus 4. 8 into 3, I'm going to get 24. Uh, 
minus 6 plus 24 turns out to be 18. Last row, minus 3 into 1 minus 3, minus 2 into 2 minus 4, minus 2 into 3 minus 6 turns out to be minus 3 minus 4 minus 6 minus 13. So this is the answer uh, y1 of n. Similarly, we need to find uh, y2 of n, y3 of n and uh, towards the end I have to write the output. So now what I do is I will write y1 of n is equal to minus 12 minus 9 2 2 10 8 18 minus 13. So next I have to find similarly y2 of n. So that I will not do it. I will leave that part to you. Similarly get y2 of n which is x2 of n circularly converted with h of n. So now let me write the final answer so that you can compare your answers with me. So it is 13 2 minus 10 minus 12 minus 5 my, uh, plus 10 16 32. So this is the answer for y2 of n. Similarly, I will get the last output of y3 of n which turns out to be 1, 5, 9, 9 and then I am going to get 4 zeros. So finally, I need to write y of n. y of n is equal to. So now uh, every two samples I have taken it from the previous uh, block. So what I do is I will consider uh, the first two I will discard the first two samples and I will consider the rest. So I will discard this. Correct? Similarly, the first two, two samples I will uh, discard. And these two I am going to get discard. And I am going to consider the rest of the elements. So what are the rest of the elements? Uh, from the first block I am going to get 2, 2, 10, 8, 18, minus 13. Similarly for the second block from the second block minus 10 minus 12 minus 5 10 16 32 and lastly I will discard these two things and write 9 and 9. So rest of the things are 0 I will stop at this position. So this is the final output y of n that I am going to get from overlap save method. Just compare your answers and let me know is it right or wrong. If there are any mistakes I will just correct myself. Uh, yes, this is how we solve uh, the numerical using overlap save method. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those the doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.